Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I'm going to show you how you can draw a roof diagram in Simbility using Google Maps. So the first thing you want to do is go into Google Maps. In your search engine, you're going to want to put the address that you're wanting to locate. hit the search engine at this point what I like to do is I like to collapse this side panel I click on this satellite icon on the left hand side I go into the location that I want to draw. I enlarge it as far as I can before it turns into a 3D. Next thing you want to do <clears throat> is go into Snippet Tool and draw the area that you want to uh, copy out of Google. So that right there copies it into uh, a clipboard. Okay, so now at this point, if, um, if the roof was square, I wouldn't have to do this next step. But because it's not square, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Photoshop, create a new document. It automatically gave me the size because it's still in the clipboard. So hit OK. Hit Control V to paste that photo. Now, if I hit C in Photoshop, that gives me a the crop tool, and so I can move this to my uh, photo. And this is going to let me crop and rotate at the same time. So I use this little thing here to, I, it's a little crooked. So if I go right in here, I can move it around just a hair. Now that's a pretty straight uh, cut. So now I'm just going to enlarge it a little bit so I don't miss nothing when I'm bringing it in. And I'll double click it rotated it and cropped it all at the same time now I'm going to go file save as I'm just going to take it to my desktop but you do want to save it as a JPEG so click on my desktop and I'm just going to call it test JPEG okay normally I would write the address well we can do that okay so 1513 Lone Star Port. Okay, so now it's going to take it to my desktop. Okay, now at this point, I don't need Photoshop anymore. Okay, now <clears throat> what you want to do while you have Google Maps open, you want to find a location. And remember what area you use for instance right here on this corner and this corner here I'm gonna get this measurement from right here to right here okay so I'm going to right click where I want the measurement to start and then I'm gonna excuse me left click and I'm gonna left click where I want it to end you see how it gave me those dimensions so the distance is 40.06 okay now at this point i don't need google uh, maps no more i'm here in simbility and then so i'm going to go into my view i'm going to go to my blueprint i'm going to browse and 
find go to my desktop there's that photograph that I uh, photo that I uh, rotated and cropped when I hit open now the first thing you want to do is get those measurements that you used earlier so on my left hand side right here I'm gonna click left click drag down here and I'm gonna release and put that measurement it only lets you put it doesn't let you put points or anything so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to put with 40 and that's gonna give me uh, my feet hit okay now so I'm gonna move this over uh, I don't need none of this right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collapse it that way it gives me a bigger canvas now I'm gonna go to home I'm gonna go to my hip roof or whatever roof you're looking for uh, I'm gonna click and drag now if you notice I'm not gonna release yet if you notice on the left hand side when I place this it moved that image so that image is going to be moving around a little bit on you but you can work around all of that now you need to study the photograph and see where your main roof is okay so by looking at this I'm gonna move this over to my left excuse me my right corner and my bottom corner and you see how everything moved a little bit so you got to move it up you know you got to inch this up until it stops moving on you okay so I'm going to move this over to this location here I'm going to move this over to this location here because now if you click and drag look, you see you can see that that's uh, that looks pretty close to what you're uh, you're looking for. I'm going to enlarge this to just a hair right here. Okay. At this point, what I like to do is I like to go into my views uh, and under background, I'm going to deselect transparent room roof. That way, you can look at it in this uh, manner. I'm going to go back to home. Now I'm going to create my hip dorm dormer. So I'm going to click. The first thing I want to do is rotate it to the angle that I'm I'm going to use. Now, if you notice at this point, you see how everything here in this location, how it's uh, nothing looks like it's in the right position anymore. As soon as you go back and you start adding things to this roof, you're going to start noticing that it moves right back into the position. Okay, so now you see. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is create that dormer. So I'll go back into my dormer. I'm going to click, rotate it. Three, oops, I'm going to have to rotate it some more to that angle. And I'm going to snap it to the left hand corner, move it over to now at this point I can enlarge it a little bit and kind of get it closer to what I'm looking for if I click here it'll zoom it one to one okay now move it over to the right a little bit so I can have a little canvas go and create my next uh, dormer um, so click I click in the middle so it gives me the rotate icon I'm going to snap to the left hand corner. Oops, left hand corner. This one is going to go all the way down here. And you see how everything's smooth here? Okay, so now the last thing I need is this gable. So now I'm going to go to my gable uh, roof. I'm going to rotate. Click here, snap right there. Now, if you notice, that's not working. It, it's not. You can tell that it is not. 
even on that side. Okay, so the way to fix that, I'm going to enlarge this area. I'm going to click on this and go into my eve. This this one has an eve of 12. Okay, so here I'm going to click on this thing that said eve. I'm going to change that to a 12, and then you'll notice that it snapped right there. Now you click here and you move over right there now so now i can zoom in 100 percent i'm going to click here move it over to the left okay now uh so what i'm going to do for right now is click on all uh, deselect those measurements. See if you click here, you get your measurement. That way you can see the uh, the file. Okay. So as you notice, right in here, it's all smooth. All those are connected to each other. You got this dormer here. You got this dormer here. You got another dormer here. You got your dormer here. So you got your valley here, you got your valley here, you have a valley there, valley, valley, you got your ridge line, ridge line, and then all of those are ridge lines, and it all looks the same. The only thing I see right here on the left hand side, I see a line there. Here, I don't see a line in between there, so I'm going to see if I can fix that. So I'm going to deselect. And then I'm going to snap to it. Now you see how that line is no longer there. Okay, so that's how you can draw using Google Maps. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, you know my email and my telephone number.